Yeah, that's right, Ashley. The construction materials company operates all over Oregon and in select parts of Washington as well. And now Knife River is looking to expand in the North Vancouver area. But people living there are saying not in our backyard. This gravel lot near Northeast 101st and 72nd in North Vancouver is where the construction materials company Knife River is thinking about building its next concrete plant. And the idea is not sitting well with some neighbors. It's bizarre. It's absolutely bizarre to put It's bizarre, Jane Kelly says, to put an industrial plant so close to an established neighborhood. Kelly and others shared those concerns at a battleground school board meeting earlier this week. Concrete batch plants have a tendency to coat the entire area, roofs, cars, and um, uh, trees. With silica dust, and that's troubling since at least two schools, Brush Prairie High School and the Center for Agriculture, Science, and Environmental Education, or Casey for short, are not far from the proposed site of the concrete plant. Just listen to what a registered respiratory therapist said about silica dust at a Clark County Council meeting just last month. What can, what can come from inhaling silica dust? So the disease process would be silicosis, which occurs when the lungs harden and develop scarring around the inhaled and trapped silica particles, decreasing the lungs tissue co compliance and elasticity. Another man at the same meeting addressed additional concerns about the proposed cement plant. Probably one of, the, one of the major problems we've got is a 95-foot cement silo that's going to be part and parcel of this property. So we have a lot of concerns about obstruction of view and light and noise. We, of course, reached out to Knife River for a comment. A spokesperson would only say that the company is exploring an opportunity to provide North Vancouver customers with ready-mix concrete from this industrial-zoned property, a concept shared at a virtual neighborhood meeting in early January. The spokesperson goes on to say that a permit application has not yet been submitted, but neighbors fear it's only a matter of time before one is, and construction begins on a new concrete plant. It's going to affect a five-mile radius, and so we need everybody to object to this. All right, the woman you heard from right there is part of a nonprofit organization that calls itself Friends of Central Vancouver. They're planning a couple of events in the next couple of weeks to fight this whole thing. Clearly, this is far from over and we'll continue to follow it. Brittany.